Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at customizing the edge panels on your Note 8. Now if I swipe over here on the right hand side of the screen where you see that bar, that's going to give me access to all of my edge panels. Now on any given device you can have up to 9 edge panels that you can have access to and we can view those here in the edge panel settings. Now tapping on the settings gear will go ahead and open up the edge panel settings. We also have access to this from within inside the settings app. So if we come into settings and then go into display and swipe down to where we see edge screen, tap in there, we can actually turn edge panels on or off as well as edge lighting. And tapping on edge panels itself will bring us into that same settings menu that we saw when we opened up our edge panel and tapped on the settings icon. Now you notice here in this screen all the edge panels I have access to and all the ones with the blue check mark are the ones that are represented in my edge panels currently. So being that I'm already at my limit, you see if I try and add one, I get a pop-up that says nine panels at one time. So I would have to uncheck a couple of them to be able to add in a few more that I wanted. And if I tap on edit down below on any one of the panels that has the edit button, that will allow me to edit that panel specifically. So for example, the apps edge. If I tap edit there, I can actually choose what apps I want to be seen here on this panel. So if I just tap on an app, it's going to go ahead and jump into the panel. And if I wanted to, you'll notice in the top right hand corner of this panel, I have YouTube and internet. That's an app pairing. So I can create an app pair. We'll go ahead and remove a couple of them because we're at our limit. We'll create an app pair. And let's just say I open up Facebook and then Google Mail at the same time. So I'll tap done and what that's going to do is open up an app pairing and go ahead and split the screen between the two apps right from the app's edge. So I'll go and show you how that works. So I'll open up my app's edge and if I tap on Facebook and Gmail, it's going to open those two apps and you see they go on top and the bottom. And that's the whole reason that we saw that switch button earlier. So now we'll come into the edge panel and we'll tap on our settings and we'll come back into the app's edge. Tapping on there, you'll notice the Facebook and Gmail one. If we actually remove that, it'll remove it. We'll tap Create Pairing and we'll do Facebook and Gmail again. But this time if we tap Switch and we have Gmail as the forefront icon and Facebook as the background icon, that means that Gmail will open on the top now. So now if we come back out and open up this pairing, you notice that Gmail is now on the top and then Facebook is down on the bottom. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and come out of our multi-view window and we'll come back into our edge panel settings. And then what we can also do is download new edge panels from the actual Samsung Galaxy App Store. And we see all, all the edge panels that are here available. We have the top free, top paid, and new. You also notice some of them give us access to other applications that aren't currently on our device. Like the one we just passed that actually gives us access to our Spotify account. And we can see that this one is actually a paid one. If we tap on any one of these edge panels that are available for purchase, we can see how it's going to look on a device, see all the screenshots, and also see the size of it and then download it if we wanted to. We'll go ahead and come back into the edge panel, open up our settings, and then tap in the top right hand corner on those three little dots. That'll allow us to reorder, uninstall, and even view handle settings. So uninstall, we can actually uninstall some of these apps. So there's an edge panel that I just removed, and then we'll actually go into reorder and we can actually change the order of all of the panels that are currently active on our device. So if I wanted people before apps, I can go ahead and do so. Clipboard before that, no problem. So now I've moved all of those, I can go ahead and hit the back button. And now if I open up my edge panel, you'll notice that all of the reordering that I just did has already taken effect. So the last area is our handle settings. Tap on the three little dots and then open up the handle settings. The drawer we've been opening with, that's basically called the edge handle, and we can change it from the left or right hand side of the screen, and you see how everything moves over as I tap on that. We can actually change the size, so I can have it take up a nice portion of the screen, or be very small. I kind of like to leave it a little bit in the middle. We can also change our transparency to high, so we do not see it, and then low, so we can be very visible. I kind of like to leave it more towards high because I don't want to always see it on my screen. And we can even have it vibrate whenever we open up the edge handle if we want our device to vibrate. So I, I like to leave that on just so I, I, I know whenever I activate the edge panel that I'm actually activating it and not accidentally swiping somewhere else because my device will vibrate whenever I open it. And as you can see here, since I moved everything to the left, I'm now swiping from the left and accessing my edge panels that way. And all of the icons and everything in the UI of the panels themselves have switched over to the left-hand side of the screen. You can always put that back to the default, which was on the right-hand side. 
by moving it over there. You'll also notice on the handle itself we have these arrows. I can actually move it up or down on the screen. So if I wanted it more in a position, I like it more down here because it's closer to where my thumb is, where, where I more naturally hold the device. So now if I hold my device one-handed, I can access that edge panel. And I usually put all my favorite apps right here in the apps edge. So that way I don't clutter up my home screen with all the app icons. I can have them here on my apps edge. So that is how you use your edge panels on your Galaxy Note 8. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. We'll see you in the next one.